Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to show you a few new dresses that I have picked up. The weather in the UK has been super hot recently and ironically I'm filming when it's bucketing it down with rain outside. I wanted to make sure this haul was very curated and only dresses that I thought would really be worth you guys spending your money on and dresses that I think will fit into a wardrobe year after year. So let's get started and I'm wearing the first dress that I wanted to show you. I am going to style up the dresses so I will show you how I would wear them and what accessories and everything I would wear with the dresses. So this first one is from H&M and it is a linen shirt dress. It's got very oversized details in the cuff and in the pockets. The pockets are also very well placed for when you don't want to wear a bra with it and um, they give you that extra bit of coverage. So this is what the length of the dress looks like, it's just very straight up and down. It's got these splits at the side and the buttons stop around there. Um, and I've paired it with these sandals which are also from H&M. So these are what the sandals look like. These are also new in at the moment. I really love the sort of rope details. So the fabric is 100% linen and it feels so nice on the body. This is gonna be such a good dress for keeping the sun off your shoulders. I'm so excited to wear it this summer. I'm going to pair it with this belt from Oasis and I like to wear this not super high up on my waist. I, I like to have it in a sort of relaxed style, just a bit lower on my waist because um, it gives that sort of boho look and it goes really well with the sandals as well. <laughs> and then that has just cinched in the waist nicely. I'm also going to add my lack of color hat. This is the one that's a bit too small for me, so I still need to get a hat stretcher for it. Yeah, I just love the way the hat ties in with the belt and the belt ties in with the sandals. I feel like this outfit is perfect for wearing in Greece <laughs> or in the UK, as we will be doing this summer. <laughs> Yeah, that's the first outfit. Let me show you the jewellery I'm wearing because I'm going to keep it the same for the other dresses as well. This little necklace is from Monica Vinader, as are the earrings and most of my rings except from one, which is a Majuri ring. So yeah, I just like to keep my jewellery super simple and gold and I never take it off really, except from big earrings. That's the first outfit. Let me know what you guys think. This next dress is from ASOS and it's just a simple cotton dress. I think it has about 8% linen in it, so not very much linen at all, but it's nice and breathable. And I feel like this is gonna be my go-to for those super hot days when you just want something that's not touching your body really <laughs> and is super comfy. So I've tied my hair up because I feel like it looks a little bit better with this silhouette. You've got a really nice square neckline and nice thick straps and then it's got this section at the top which then goes into gathering and the back just looks like this. It's got a few little buttons down it. I paired this dress with the same H&M sandals and I found this little bag that I have in my stash from, I think this is from Zara. I thought a little wicker bag would be perfect with this dress because it kind of ties in with the cream polka dots. So let me show you what the dress looks like full length. I really love the shape of the construction around the top. I think it's really flattering. I don't have a bra on right now and it's not looking too weird and boob squishy. <laughs> so this is what the outfit looks like all together. There are no pockets in this dress. Um, yeah, I just think it's super easy. You can't really go wrong with a polka dot dress. I can't remember if it was advertised as a linen dress. And if it was, then I think that's really naughty of ASOS because it's only 8% linen. <laughs> but I think it's the sort of dress I know I'll get a lot of wear out of because I have similar silhouettes in my wardrobe already. So this will just fit in nicely to my style and I'll be able to wear it lots and lots this summer. This next dress is also from ASOS and I just checked on the website to see what it's listed as and it is listed as a linen cami dress and it's not linen. <laughs> so that's a bit disappointing and very misleading by ASOS. It's a linen look dress but it's basically 100% cotton and it has the tiniest bit of flax in it. Um, so not a linen dress at all but hey ho. 
but I thought I would show it to you anyway because it's still a nice dress and at least it's cotton and not poly cotton or anything. So the shoes I'm gonna pair with it are these sandals from Oasis and I've been loving these recently. They're super comfy. So this is what the dress looks like. It's just a very 90s style slip cami dress. Goes nice and low at the back. It's very flattering um, and it has this split at the front. And I would probably pair it with my Zara suede bag and wear it across my body like that. So apart from the fact that it's not actually linen, it is a very nice dress. I love the colour of it. It also came in blue, black, a floral, lots of different shades. I think it's one of their sort of staple summer items by the looks of it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this dress. And also let me know what you think about ASOS saying it's linen and it's not actually linen. Because I think that's really naughty and I think that's misleading its customers a lot into the fact that it's meant to be a more sustainable fibre when it's not. <laughs> this next dress has actually been in my wardrobe for a few weeks now and it's from m &S. Last year I found a really lovely dress in the sale from there and I was like next year when their summer stuff comes out I am going to get a dress <laughs> before all the sizes sell out. And I actually have two more to show you after this from m &S. And I just love their dresses at the moment. They are such beautiful silhouettes. And because it's m and they're often pretty well covered up and modest. Because I don't always love to just be in a super short dress, you know, like super low cleavage. It's just not for me anymore. <laughs> so this one is from their Peruna range. And I think it was about 50 something pounds, maybe 55 pounds, which is, a little more expensive than the usual high street dress. I absolutely love it and I think it is so worth the price because there's just so many beautiful details in it. And then the waist has this really pretty little rope belt. Then the skirt has pockets. <laughs> the skirt goes out into this beautiful little gathered skirt with little broidery details in it. I'm styling it up with the rope sandals from H&M and obviously the lack of colour hat and then I'd probably wear a sort of wickery bag with this look. So it's super easy, very comfortable. Come a bit closer so you can see the details. It's got this little ruffle around the neckline, some little pin tucks and it's just gorgeous. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this dress. I think the blue also really helps make my red hair pop a little bit. Um, which is always great. <laughs> I love this dress so much. It's 100% cotton, so nice and breathable, and it's just super cute. I've got another dress from m and next. This one is more for a less extremely hot day <laughs> because I'm pretty sure it's a polyester crepe fabric. Sometimes these sorts of fabrics can be very static on me, but this one's not. It's just really nice and just flowy and just sort of drapes over my body really nicely. So I'm styling it up with these boots from June and I don't actually own anything from June until I bought these and oh my goodness they are so comfy. I can definitely understand the price tag of them but I managed to get them in the sale on Zalando I think. I also picked up my very 70s sunglasses to go with these from Free People. They're very Marmite <laughs> but I think it kind of goes with the whole look. So the dress has this gorgeous ruching detailing in the middle which just gathers it in super tight onto the waist. It doesn't feel uncomfortably tight but it's just, it's there. And the sleeves have little elastic too so you could wear them like that if you want to but they just sort of naturally bunch up. And then the skirt is this beautiful sort of very simple A-line skirt and the boots cut at the perfect point for this dress. And then for bag, I would probably wear my Chloe bag with this dress because I think it goes really nicely with the blue and kind of ties in with the boots a bit. The top part of this dress also has really pretty tassel detailing so you can do the top up um, like this but I think I prefer it open. It just has a bit more of a relaxed look to it when it's open. That's what it looks like tied up. Pretty sure this is from their main collection. I I think it's about £40. So yeah, that's the next m and dress 
let me know what you guys think. So this is the final dress in the haul and it's also from M&S. This one's in their Purina range and I'd say it's definitely not for very hot summery days but it's perfect for a day like today when it's sort of like 13 degrees. Kind of chilly but you want to be covered and still in a girlyish dress. So it's in this gorgeous sort of chambray dark denim. Really lovely tortoise shell buttons all the way down and then it gathers into this incredible skirt just full of denim i just love this skirt part so much i've paired it with i styled it with these boots from mango these are in the sales so i'll see if they're still online um these have been such a good purchase for me i've worn them so much um i've also got my chloe bag with it and 70s sunglasses again <laughs> let me know what you guys think of this dress i absolutely love it so those are all of the dresses for this haul i really hope you guys enjoyed this video as always they will all be linked in the description bar down below let me know your favorite in the comments and give the video a like if you liked it and i will see you all in my next video bye